Tonight on CinemaCon Live, the Superman logo was officially revealed at CinemaCon during the Warner Brothers presentation with Peter Saffron on stage and James Gunn zooming in because he's remote. So let's talk about that and whatever else happened. Speaking of CinemaCon, we got other studios that have shown off what they have, what, what is coming out in the future. So, hey, let's talk about that too. Zack Snyder, Empire Magazine, of course, talking about Rebel Moon Part 2, but talking about Sucker Punch, as well as that Wonder Woman 1854 idea. The Joker 2 trailer, did you like it, did you not? Let's talk about it and break down some of the things that are in that trailer, if Warner Brothers actually lets me. All that and so much more tonight on Film Chucky Live. Yeah, that's right, guys. Trailer reaction got uh, Warner Brothers was like, yeah, copyright, but not a strike. But, you know, one of those things were like, hey, you know, you can't you're, you're not monetized. We get whatever. And then I disputed it and they said, oh, yeah, we felt that it was OK because, you know, Warner Brothers just doesn't learn what Internet marketing is. Now you want to get nuts? Come on, let's get nuts. Test, test, Jesus. Hold on, Jesus. So terrible, sorry. Test, 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 all right, we're good now. Jesus Christ. <sighs> terrible, man. I swear to God, it's like everything works, then you go live, and things just stop working. I don't know why that happens. I don't know why that happens. I don't know how many times that that happens where the, I go check, check. I check all the things, check the desktop, check the mic, check all that stuff right before I go live. And then I, of course, have to shut everything down. And then once I go live, the stupid fuck, the stupid software and everything just like goes, nope, nope. I mean, I know sometimes I fuck up, but my God. All of a sudden, it just like went to like my my computer's mic, which I don't have a mic on the computer. I'm like, good God, man. Ah, my God. It's just so terrible. It's like, geez. It's like, can just, it just sucks. So I was like, I, I just, just checked all that stuff. Anyway, sorry, guys. Sorry about that little snafu right there. Let's turn the music back on. <laughs> How we doing? Ah, sorry for that little rant off right there at the beginning, but we got hello, hello, hello. We got Miss Lisa Jackson right here. We got Snyder Bros. What's up from Vegas? Lucky CinemaCon's happening over there. I'm seeing Rebel Moon next Wednesday here in Vegas. Well, that's cool. And then, hey, if I had, I know it's supposed to be Wine Wednesday, but I don't have any wine, so I don't have a drink to raise to you 
Jason. I'll definitely do that on Friday. Hoy hoy, you know. Uh, how about the jo Joker 2 trailer, folks? There you go. Thank you for the uh, the super chat. Every little bit helps. Little bit helps the uh, the pirate ship that sometimes messes up, <laughs> right? All right. Well, who else we got? We got Shane Baker right here. Good to see you. We got Jose. What is happening? Line up the humping. There you go. He's down for some humping right there. All right. We also got uh, the Black Red Joker 2 trailer has me hyped for sure. Still worried about the musical aspect, but trust, trust him, of course. Yes. What's going on, Talladea? Yes. Zack Snyder, stop talking about scrap ideas, especially when they're terrible. Oh, this guy. Jose, how dare you? What's going on? Yes, I know the mic wasn't working, but hey, you know. It happens. It happens. We got Chris Balger right here. Always good to see you, buddy. All right. All right. At least he had the music, right, Ariel? Right? <laughs> oh, man. This is so dumb. I don't know why that happens. I don't know why that happens. Yeah, building while flying. There you go. Hank, what's happening? We got accuracy right here. Always good to see you. I've seen there before. We got Ted right there. Yeah, let's see. The sequel, We Didn't Need, Joker 2, has great cinematography like the first one. Well, hopefully everybody, everything else is also going to be great when it comes to that. We got Fear Jason right here, too. Good to see you. And we got uh, Hank, who's been a member for two months. And, you know, after every Wednesday stream, we always do the, um, the members only stream. So go ahead and do that. Subscribe if you haven't already. Hit that like, thumbs up, share the stream, everything, and I appreciate you guys. But yeah, I don't. I just I don't get that. Like literally, when I opened up my Streamlabs, all the levels were good because I could. I have it up right now. There's a panel. You could see the audio. And then once once it went live, it just didn't. And then once it finally clicked over, the mic turned off on this end. Ah. I mean, I'm just saying, like, what? So once I got the mic back onto the setting on my software, why did the actual, you know, hardware, which is the mic, all of a sudden just go like, okay, you're back, but I'm going to shut off. It's like, geez. So then after I fixed it, I'm like, why is this not still working? And then all of a sudden I'm seeing the light blinking right here. I'm like, freaking, yeah. Anyways, okay. So that's... That's that's besides that. We're okay. It's hump day. It's Wednesday. Hopefully, you guys uh, are uh, you've made it during the middle of the week, so we're good. And uh, of course, we're going to be talking about CinemaCon. The first half, we're going to be talking about CinemaCon, or at least the first two topics are going to be CinemaCon. We got Warner Brothers, of course, on stage, and the reveal of that Superman logo. And then, of course, we have other studios talking about what they had in store for CinemaCon. I'm telling you, next year I'm going to make it to CinemaCon. I'm going to make it to CinemaCon next year, I think. I'm going to make it a point. I'm going to make it a goal to get to CinemaCon at least next year. I, I saw some people, people who I stream with, they took a picture with Henry Cavill. I could have met Henry Cavill, for God's sakes. Uh, I saw people, you know, because Lionsgate and, uh, yeah, Henry Cavill talking about Highlander and then, of course, working with Guy Ritchie, not... Not just once, but twice. He's got a new movie coming out, too, when it comes to that. But, yeah, next year I definitely got to make it out to CinemaCon for sure. Then, of course, we're going to talk about Empire Magazine and Zack Snyder. Obviously talking about Rebel Moon, which he's talked a lot about, but he's talked some, you know, other things. And then let's break down that Joker 2 trailer. But like I said, I got to be careful, guys, because if I want this whole stream to just be demonetized, demonetized by Warner Brothers. I can't really show that much because Warner Brothers still does not give a shit. Uh, I don't know. It's all stupid. Anyways, let's get to the tweets, huh? Let's get to some tweets and see what's going on out there. And oh boy, guys. Oh boy. Oh boy. So this first thing that we're going to be talking about, man, it just needs to happen. And hopefully we can get some more... Um, Footage, I don't know if this is going to be the only footage, but remember we were talking about the animated pitch, the animated feature pitch for Batman Beyond. And we all went, what the hell? Not the first time that there's been an animated pitch after Spider-Verse, remember? 
there was something that came out after Spider-Verse. The first Spider-Verse came out, somebody actually pitched, and this is when the old gang, the old gang at Warner Brothers apparently turned that down, but they thought about, hey, let's do kind of like a Batman Beyond in the vein of Into the Spider-Verse. And then recently, what, not even that long ago, we got to like some images, some, some, some art from that. Well, now we got video, guys. We got video. And I'm sure some of you guys saw this, and it's absolutely glorious. And I was like, oh, wow, look at this. Look at this right here. Fallen! Good lord. Look at that. Just looks cool. heavy rock behind it oh man come on look at that we need more of this i think we need more of this look at those butt cheeks giving nightwing a run for his money my god look at that as he falls down you got catwoman in, or is that bad yeah it's catwoman in the distance but yes he just takes a step off that ledge man oops turn that off I mean, come on. We got we got that animation. It looks great. You can do it cheaper than a live action movie. And guess what? Warner Brothers and DC Studios just make your Bruce Wayne look like Michael Keaton and then have Michael Keaton voice Bruce Wayne. There you go. There you go. You could do this for less than 100 million maybe. I don't know how much it would cost, but you probably could. Probably could do it for Less than 80 million. Who knows? Or maybe around 80 million. But do something like that. Make your Bruce Wayne character look like Michael Keaton and then have Michael Keaton voice it. That's where I would be like, yes, that's how you do it right there. Jimmy Guns, hello. I mean, if you're not going to do a Batman Beyond, or maybe you have plans for a Batman Beyond in the near future, but hey, or not the near future, but in the way future, hey, just do something like this now. Why can't we do something like this now? You know, I wish we could do something right. This and this is from um, Vegetto, Vegetto, Vegetto on YouTube. So, yeah, I'm telling you, missing out right here, missing out right here. I think we'd all enjoy something like this. We'd all definitely enjoy something like this. Ugh, saw that and I was like, "Geez, man, come on! You gotta do that. You gotta do that." Uh oh, uh oh. Hey, yo, I don't know what they're talking about. Something says they're just coming after me. I don't know. That's right, guys. Sly Salone is uh, kind of in trouble right now. Sylvester Salone has been accused of creating a toxic world environment on the Atlanta set of the Paramount Plus drama series Tulsa King by making disparaging comments about background actors, among other allegations. Hey, yo, I just say, I don't want ugly people around me. I don't know. Um, yeah, it's not a good look from what, you know, what's in the article. If you actually read it and you hear what people are saying that, yeah, he didn't want, he was saying, calling them ugly and stuff like that. I don't know. I mean, just like, okay, in one hand, I'm like, all right, well, this is just out of the blue. I mean, why all of a sudden is this just coming out? But then again, we're in 2024 where a lot of things are being revealed when it comes to Hollywood. And at the same time, I'm like, Sly, you know, I mean, you've made your nut. You've you you are who you are. Do you need to you don't need to be a dick on 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 set? I hope it's not true. Maybe it's not. But yeah, I guess we'll see what happens. I guess we'll see what happens when this further, you know, becomes further along. But I mean, who knows? Who knows when it comes to this stuff anymore? You just see that and you go, damn it. But we'll see. We'll see. I haven't watched Tulsa King. I hear it's good. But now, I mean, uh, now it's just, now it's not looking good for, you <laughs> know, oh, oh, boy. Yeah. Gotta love it. Let's see. Got that. Let's see. Do I have a better picture of that? No, I do not. Okay. Well, when it comes to CinemaCon, we also have 
Deadpool. We got Deadpool merch, which, of course, people were seeing. I mean, there's merch and everything all over the place, but they just decided to be like, hey, we're going to put some Deadpool things within all this all this crazy merch that's right there. So we got Deadpool on a cup. And then, of course, everybody is always raving about like, hey, there's Hugh Jackman, Wolverine on a cup. That's probably one of the best shots that we've had when it comes to him in the full Wolverine costume that has the mask with the claws out. So, hey, there you go. So we got that. There's not much presence there when it comes to Marvel Studios and whatever. I mean, there was like a big, huge motion poster when it came to Deadpool and Wolverine, but that's about it. That's about it, but hey, there you go. Looks great. Can't wait to see that freaking thing all in actual live action, I tell you. And is anybody disappointed that the uh, the Crow reboot, remake, reboot, whatever you want to call it, it's more of a reboot than a remake. Anybody disappointed that it got pushed to August? Yeah, I didn't think so. I didn't think that anybody would actually be disappointed that, especially with the reception that it's gotten. Uh, but yes, they did announce that the Crow, the new Crow movie is delayed to August 23rd, which, yeah, put it there. Doesn't need to be part of the summer blockbuster season. Put it, for some reason, August is deemed a month that's not techni technically a summer blockbuster month. I don't know why that's the case, because it's August. But then again, who knows? I mean, back in my day, you know, it's like I feel like an old man when I I was like, yeah, I mean, I didn't go back to school after summer break until September. But now it's all weird and all over the place. But yes. So that got delayed. That got delayed, which, again, I don't think anybody was really like, eh, that sucks. I was really looking. I mean, I know there's people looking forward to it, but I'm just I'm still on like the eh, eh, whatever. It's fine. It's, it's fine. Um, all right. See, there's so many things that were announced today that when it came to CinemaCon that we can't really even, like, talk about. Oh, but we also got this. Hey, we got another promo image when it comes to official artwork when it, in, with, with Deadpool and Wolverine. So a little bit more of something. We got Deadpool with, of course, his swords out and both claws are out. So that's pretty sweet. Hey, some more Deadpool and Wolverine. Like I said, when the marketing really kicks in the gear, that it's going to be a lot of fun when it comes to that. Okay, and then... <laughs> All right. Um, anybody else? Anybody else? After seeing interviews with um, Amy Pascal in the past, think she's a little bit of... A little cuckoo? A little kooky? A little kooky? If you didn't think it that, if you didn't think that about Amy Pascal, you might think she's a little kooky when it came to this uh, little deadline interview right here. Story now with the um, threat of damage. Look at that well, hair. I can't say, but we're pretty excited about it. Well, you have Tom. You have Tom. Well, we want Tom, and he wants to do it, so we'll see. And what about is there a ginger? Is there an Adele Rogers? Is there a not yet. Uh, not yet. <laughs> What's the timeline on it? As soon as we can. How about that? Okay. okay. Lovely to see you. Congratulations to see you on this. Too. And okay. by the way, do you play tennis? <laughs> did, 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 did they really think that she actually played tennis? I like like she has like her assistant right there, or she keeps on looking at her like, I don't know. She's wearing a wig. You know what? You know what that wig reminds me of? You ever seen Mars Attacks when the uh, the girl alien? <laughs> Just kind of like, like, you know, that, that is like the alien and she's like chewing the gum, you know, do you remember that in Mars Attacks? I don't know. That, that hair is something else. That hair is actually something else, but I'm just going like, Kevin, obviously you're talking about the Fred Astaire movie is that, that's what she was talking about. And then like the fact that they want Tom Holland to play that role. And it was, he's already cast. He's already cast in that, in that role. And so she, they were asking about that. And then of course, just asking about, I don't know, but I, it's just like, she's, She's a little kooky. That's all. She's just a little kooky. And, you know, we all remember when they were promoting No Way Home and, and Kevin Feige was like, what are you talking about? Stop talking. Stop talking. Stop talking. So just thought that was kind of funny. Anyways, uh, the wig is, yeah, <laughs> yeah, the wig is atrocious. Cocaine is, I mean, you could just tell she's, I was like, there's some prescriptions that she is in, I don't know. She stole that hair from one of those Disney movie moms. Yeah. 
Uh, I've seen the crack hits on it. <laughs> it's good. Yeah, cue the uh, Kevin Feige reaction shot. I mean, yeah, I mean, she's she's an interesting woman. But, hey, you know, you, she she's behind some big movies. So, you know, but it's Hollywood. What could you do? All right, let's go ahead and talk about the uh, the main topics at hand here. Let's talk about the let's start diving into CinemaCon. Diving into CinemaCon. So first off, we have Warner Brothers presentation at CinemaCon. And everybody was going like all eyes on that because obviously we knew that the Joker 2 trailer was going to be coming out. So naturally we're like, all right, well, that's going to be cool. And of course, Todd Phillips was there. He talked about Joker and thanking theaters to not remove it from theaters because obviously all the... uh, there was just such a stigma behind it. They thought like somebody was going to cause like a, a shooting or something like that, which never happened, which I think there was like another movie at the time where something kind of happened, but it wasn't, they tried so hard. The media and everybody tried so hard to make it seem like some freaking, like some just incel was going to shoot up a theater. It was like the media was hoping that that was going to happen. Like, Oh yeah, you're just gonna, you're just gonna, you're just gonna make some freaking lonely pimple face white dude show up and start shooting up a theater and then it didn't happen and then it didn't happen but the, like the media i remember when it was it was gross it seemed like they were just like wanting it to happen it's just very just ugh, gross anyways so we have the panel and then everybody's going like all right there was a rumor that james gunn was actually going to be showing up to the panel and sure enough he did but he only showed up you know obviously via like you know zooming in which makes sense he's shooting a very big important movie and basically said hey i wanted to be there we should be there and blah 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 and next year we're definitely going to be there and it's going to be the summer of superman and then peter saffron (coughs) showed up on stage which you know i'm not the biggest peter saffron fan just not just not the biggest Peter Saffron, but he was there and he was present. And then guess what? Of course, the Superman logo was officially, I guess you could say, revealed. And it was kind of interesting because obviously when it comes to CinemaCon, they're not streaming it. They're not showing us what is happening at CinemaCon. And you know, it is weird. It's like, I get it that they do that because obviously people have paid to be there. So obviously it's supposed to be an experience to be experienced in person. So... So naturally, it's like, why live stream it? But at the same time, it's like when we were hearing reports and people tweeting that, oh, yeah, they're showing the Superman logo, the Superman logo. It's like, well, where the fuck is it? Somebody post it. I'm, you know, we're in the age of like instant, instant information, instant images. And then finally, it was fully revealed. Finally, it was fully revealed, which, of course, you could just see in like, you know, my thumbnail right here when it comes to that. But uh, yeah. Finally fully revealed, and here it is right there. So somebody took this picture with Peter Saffron on stage next to the Superman logo, which I totally dig. I totally dig, and I guess you could say when, like, this is what it pretty much looks like right here. So they added a little shine to it, a little shine. So we got the gold, we got the red, and then, well, obviously this background was created, I think it was created by DC Film News, but yes, you got that little shine right there, and I do like that. I do like that. I dig it. I dig it. You know, totally dig it. It's a nice logo. It's different. It's something that we haven't seen before. I mean, is it going to be my favorite Superman logo? Maybe. Maybe not. I don't know. I still don't know how I feel about it, but it was kind of cool. It's like, all right, add a little three dimension to it and then put a little shine to it. Put a little shine. But that's not it, though, because also we have Ira, Ira, David Corn Sweat's dog. And they just keep on utilizing this poor little dog. It, it's like, how dare they exploit this little dog when they want to tease Superman and the Superman costume? For God's sakes. How dare you, Jimmy Guns? How dare you? There's this image right here. He's literally wearing the costume. But of course, not the actual costume. But what do you see in the background? Oh, yeah, they freaking just showed the logo that we see before right there. (laughs) Cute dog. Cute dog. And the dog's like, the dog's like posing for all this, which is funny. So there you go. 
It's like, oh, of course these are all planned, which is fine. I totally get it. But yeah, it's just like funny. It's like, oh yeah, you get the dog in the full-on costume on the Superman chair that has like, you know, all the, the color scheme. And then right in the background, hey, let's just show the logo because we're going to show it at CinemaCon. Everything is planned right now, which is good. I like that. But man, when that freaking costume gets revealed to the masses, oh, that's going to be a fun day. That's going to be a fun day. It's going to be a totally crazy day. But yeah, so there you go. The logo is just right there in the background. You got to love that. You got to love it. I mean, I like I said, you, I, I, I dig it because it's like, hey, utilize, utilize social media. I keep on saying that. You have to utilize social media nowadays to build this hype. It's just the way it is. It's just the way it is. You got to treat it like you have a YouTube channel for this. And they should do more. We've had those ideas as well. And then when it came to, all right, so when it comes to the full-on uh, panel, obviously they talked about not just Superman and next year being the summer of Superman, which is going to be interesting to see how all that is and talking about DCU stuff. I'm surprised there was no Creature Commandos kind of things, but at the same time, it's called CinemaCon, and that's not going to be in the movie so but they did talk about superman the christopher reeves story and that's going to be out in september the documentary of course follows uh how christopher reeve found strength and purpose through activism after he was paralyzed of course when it came to falling off the horse and everything so they showed something with that people said they got emotional so we got that that's going to be in theaters of course which is good i'm gr i'm glad i want to see that in theaters can't wait for that. And then, of course, there was Furiosa. They showed some more footage of Furiosa and uh, Chris Hemsworth and and uh, and um, Anya Taylor Joy were at. Did you see her? My God, did you see her? <laughs> hi, hi, hi. Where is it at? Um, um don't have it. That didn't work. Ah, my stupid thing, it froze up. Anyways, there's Anya. She's looking pretty good. Nice. Very nice. So if you wanted to see what, you know, I mean, obviously, you know what Chris Hemsworth was. I was just saying, let, let's look at Anya for a little bit there. I mean, she is the star, right? She is the star, but yeah. You guys know I've always had like a little bit of a thing. Very pretty face. She's always been pretty, you know, pretty skinny and i'm not really dig i don't really dig like the full like skinny super skinny look i've always felt i felt like that when it came to gal gadot before she got wonder woman she was a little too skinny you know and i, I know i i'm, I'm gonna get canceled because how dare i even talk about this right now but i've always been like one of those yeah put a little bit you know like like when gal gadot got into the wonder woman role i mean then she started she developed some 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 tone and some i was like there it is and i think after furiosa same thing happened to Anya, where she got like a little bit, you know, she got a little bit of size on her, some shoulders, a little bit of something right there. I don't know. I'm a fan. I'm a fan. But, you know, how dare I? I'm going to probably get canceled for that, right? We'll talk about guys. Anyways, um, <laughs> not going to do that. Uh, what else did they talk about? So that was Anya. 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 I wish she was on me. Anyways, um... All right, I'm getting pretty perverted. Chris Hemsworth. Uh, Chris Hemsworth said that uh, he looked at dictators across history to inspire his character in Furiosa. So that's pretty sweet. And they showed some more footage, like I said. Uh, hey, what do we got here? Oh, we got some new members. We got Lisa gifting some members right there. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. And then uh, what else do we have scrolling up? Okay, so then we had Mickey, uh, Mickey 17. Mickey 17. Um, obviously, we got we had Bong Joo Ho and Robert Pattinson were on the panel and were talking about Mickey 17, which it was supposed to come out this year. And it was one of the movies I was very much looking forward to because Joon Ho, I mean, talented filmmaker. I am now a fan of Robert Pattinson, which I, 10 years ago, I'd never thought I would be a fan of Robert Pattinson after the whole Twilight shit. But now I'm a fan of Robert Pattinson. And we got this Mickey 17 story that's based on a book that I'm going, wow, that 
premise sounds very, very intriguing. And apparently they showed a trailer and I'm like, come on, can we release this? What is going on here? What is going on here? So basically when it came to that, it's described as a sci-fi comedy. Comedy? All right. Follows a man who's cloned over and over after he dies on suicide missions. And apparently you see that in the trailer. Bong Joon-ho casts Robert Pattinson because he has a crazy look in his eyes. I can see that. One clone is, the, is like an evil brother who is out of control. I'm, all, I'm, I'm, I'm just so intrigued by this. So intrigued. Because we're going to get like a dual Robert Pattinson and apparently it's like you got Mickey 17 and apparently there's 